A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today we will be working with the, the spry menu bar and we will be making a horizontal menu bar. Let's start. Uh, this is the dream viewer splash uh, screen and I'm going to click on the create new HTML button. Guys uh, note here that I'm in the classic view okay and I'm going to come off the split view and go into the design view. At least for this specific project I don't need to be in the split view all right next what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the insert button go down to spry and then i'm going to say spry menu bar reviewer wants me to save the document which i will i'll call it menu bar and uh, next uh, i'll choose the layout as horizontal i'll give it a title menu bar save the changes the moment i do that um, Dreamweaver says that the page of the behavior requires supporting files. They will be copied to the local site folder, which must obviously be uploaded to the server before the object of the behavior should function correctly. That's okay. I'll say all right. Okay. So basically, guys, what happens here is uh, a Spryasis uh, folder gets created, generated, and uh, certain files are saved there. That's very good. Let me take a preview in Chrome. Okay. This is the very simple, very plain, very ordinary menu bar all right let me go back to dream viewer guys uh, what i'm going to do next is i'm going to click on this blue tab on the left top corner click on insert layer objects and then i'm going to say div tag the default option that appears is wrap around selection which is okay and the id for the div will be um, let's say my rules then I'll click on the new CSS rules button then I'm gonna say ok next uh, I'll go to the box category guys and uh, let me give it a top margin of uh, mm, let's say 100 and a left margin of let's say 50 pixels then I'm gonna say ok and ok once again in doing so guys you can see that I've actually managed to displace the menu bar from the top of the left this is the way you will be adjusting the menu bar. So you'll be placing it inside a div tag and then you'll be giving margins to the div tag. So that is the way you place the menu bar. Okay. Guys, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to use CSS3 to uh, apply linear gradients to this menu bar and to make it beautiful, juicy, meaty. Okay. Before I actually do that, let me take a preview in Chrome once again. All right. This is the way the menu bar looks right now, and then I'm going to hop back to. In fact, uh, for the first time, I'll go to the Ultimate CSS Gradient Generator website, which is colorzilla.com forward slash gradient dash editor. Have a look here, guys. This is the website, and what I'm going to do is, for the menu bar, this is a preset. This preset named Black 3D Pound Sign One is the the, the linear gradient that I'll be choosing but I've, I've selected as the gradient for my menu bar okay linear gradient so what I'm gonna do here is in the preview window I'm gonna select <coughs> IE for Internet Explorer and then copy the code generated okay so this website is awesome guys what it does is you just need to either select a preset gradient or you can make one of your own and then it'll generate the code that you can then put inside green weaver and you'll get the nice gradient that you need okay so I say a copy here I'm going going back to green weaver next guys what, what I'm gonna do is now I pay a little attention here okay now note please note that in all we have 18 rules that control this menu bar the different areas the different behaviors of the menu bar okay I'm gonna get rid of at least five of them okay I'm gonna get rid of at least five of them that'll make a job pretty pretty easy okay so what I'm gonna do is I'll leave the first 11 as it is and starting rule number 12 13 14 15 16 I'm gonna select five these five rules and I'm gonna hit the delete button Dreamweaver is uh, telling me that you're deleting multiple CSS rules do you really want to proceed I say yes no problems I know what I'm doing I'm pretty sure okay so that's taking care of it okay guys why did I delete them what 
impact will it have? I'm not going to go into the details of it. Okay, so why? I'm just leaving uh, aside. If you really want to know the why, then uh, you should go into this uh, file called spymanuba.css files. Okay, and then you can uh, read the comments. Which rule controls which area? What exactly does it do? Okay. I'm going, going to go back to the source course. I'm not going to talk about the whys right now. In fact, let me go back to the design view. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so, guys, if you remember, I have a chunk of code that I had copied and I'm going to place it somewhere. Guys, when it comes to menu bars, rule number 10 from the top, which is UL menu bar horizontal A, is the most important rule. Okay. And this rule, uh, being the key rule, we will be right now focusing on this one. I'm going to go back to this file, strymanuvahorizontal.css, and I'm going to click on the tenth rule from the top. Okay, so this is the rule in question. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to click here and press enter, and then drop the code that I brought over, that I copied over. Okay, so that's a copy and a paste out here, and then. I'll show you a preview in Chrome as to what exactly has happened. So if you can notice guys, it has actually given a nice uh, linear gradient, but let me go back to Dreamweaver, but um, I need to also change the color of the font, which is right now set to a hash triple three. I'm going to change it to white. Okay, let me take a preview now. Wonderful. Okay. I don't have the hover state yet, but I have a nice linear gradient set, which is amazing. Very nice. Okay. Let me go back to Dreamweaver now. Okay. And uh, go back to the design view. Don't worry, the, the Sprime Menu Bar looks hollow right now. <laughs> but that's absolutely okay. When you work with CSS3 linear gradients, this is what will happen. So don't worry at all. Everything is okay. Okay, now we will be talking about the hover state, which is controlled uh, via the 11th rule from the top. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to double click on that rule. In fact, uh, what I'm going to do here is I will go to the spry menu bar horizontal.css file and I'm going to choose the 11th rule from the top. Okay, which is this. All right, and then I'm going to drop yet another linear gradient here, which I'll bring over right now in a moment. Okay, so this was the linear gradient, uh, which is black 3D pound sign one that we had used for the normal state. For the hover state, I'm going to use the one that is just to the right of it, which is uh, black 3D without the pound, pound one sign. Okay, I'm going to copy this code, making sure that the orientation is set to vertical and uh, the IE is selected. I'm going to copy the code. Okay, go back to Dreamweaver. I'm, I'm going to drop it here under the UL menu bar horizontal A hover, UL menu bar horizontal A focus, which is the 11th rule from the top. I'm going to drop it here. Okay. Let me show you a preview in Chrome, guys. Um, and here we are. Pretty much easy, pretty much done. Okay. So, but if you notice, guys, item number one point one point. Uh, item number 1.1 1 .1 is uh, slightly bigger than item number 1. Also, if you notice here, item number 3.1.1 uh, slightly overlaps item number 3.1, also overlaps item number 4. Have a look again. Okay, there is a way to actually control uh, the size and the overlapping. I'll show you how. Okay, now guys, notice. Uh, let me first go back to my design view and then uh, notice out here the third rule from the top if I if I show you the properties of that down below here says the width is 8 EMs okay the rule just below that the fourth rule says the width is 8.2 and this rule which is UL menu bar ULLI which is one, two, three, four, five, six rule from the top says the width is eight point two. So at one uh, place it was eight, the other two places it was eight point two. So what I'm uh, gonna do is I'm gonna make it eight point two everywhere. So I'm gonna 
go back to rule number uh, three and I'll change it to 8.2. That'll ensure that we have uniformity of size. Let me show you a preview in Chrome. So now if you see guys uh, the children menu and the main menu have the same size. That wasn't the case earlier. The children menu was slightly longer. So just in case you want to control the size this way, you can do that. Now let's go back to Dreamweaver and let's talk about the overlapping parts for, for which you need to go to this rule which is ending with UL UL. Okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seventh rule, which is UL menu horizontal UL UL, if you notice the margins out here, it's minus five zero zero ninety five. If I change the minus five to uh, zero and uh, ninety five to hundred, uh, I should be okay. Let me show it to you. I've just double clicked there. I'm going to go to the box category, changing the top margin from a minus five to a zero. Okay, this was responsible for pulling the menu up. And uh, the left, I'm going to change it to 100. Let me show it to you now. Let me take a preview. Now, if I hover over item 3.1, you'll notice that uh, it's not overlapping item number. Item number 3.1.1 is not overlapping item number 3.1. Neither is it overlapping item number 4. Okay, the way it was happening earlier. And if you really want, if you really want, you can change this um, margin top from a 0 to a plus 10 and see what happens. Let me show, you, show it to you in Chrome. Item number 3.1.1 actually gets displaced uh, towards the bottom. Okay, goes down. Okay, few people like it that way. So now guys, you know how to actually control uh, where your div is and inside the div you place the menu bar. So placing the div at a specific place ensures that you actually displace the menu bar. That's one. Second thing is you know how through the website which is uh, colorzilla.com forward slash gradient dash editor you can generate or use uh, preset uh, linear gradients and then you can uh, employ them inside Dreamweaver. Okay. Also, uh, I've shown you how we can actually delete uh, five rules out, out of the total 18 and it doesn't actually impact uh, the resulting menu bar a lot and we get what we really want even though we have deleted the, those five rules. Okay, We know how to actually displace item number 3.1.1 towards the right and towards the bottom. Okay, We also know how to control the width of uh, the menu bar. Okay, so I, I hope this tutorial has been um, extensive and detailed. Okay, before I leave you guys, I want to show you something else. If you click on this blue area, then you might as well go here and add a few items. So instead of having four items, I can have five items. Okay, I can add uh, clicking on this plus sign uh, some menu items. I can change the labels right now. Let's say, for example, if I need to change the item one to let's say a home, what I need to do is I just need to type home and hit enter. So I'm going to say home, enter, and I'm done. Let me show you a preview. Okay, so it's home now. Similarly, you can change item number 2, 3, 4, 1.1, 1.2, etc., etc. You can change the labels, you can add the items, you can delete the items. Pretty, pretty easy. And, and uh, of course, you can make them link. So I, I can say here, um, maybe, uh, you know, I need to let's say click on the browse button and point it to a different uh, web page. I can do that very easily. Okay, so guys, I hope uh, you uh, liked this tutorial, enjoyed this tutorial, learned something good. I'll see you very soon with yet another Dreamweaver or uh, Flash with ActionScript 3 tutorial. Okay, so peace till then. Bye bye.